Hi guys, how are you? This is Wendy Kim. Oh, oopsie of your Dream Realize Coaching. And we are on day nine of the Survive to Thrive Challenge. And what this is, is every day for 20 days, I am giving a little tip that can move you from survival mode to thriving mode. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to take a lot of time, but it's it's these little things we do throughout our days that can make a difference. So, okay, I want to talk about today when you meet someone with negative energy. Have you ever had that experience where you meet someone and there's just something off? And you're like, I don't know what it is about this person, but I'm feeling this negative vibe. Have you ever experienced that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of us have. Maybe it's just me. You have to let me know. Okay, so yesterday I go to the bank and I went to open up bank accounts for my kids. And I want to give a shout out to Brenda Martin for giving me that idea. They have savings accounts, but I wanted them to open their own physical kind of account. So I go in and then I meet the banker and the banker is really serious, not smiling and doesn't say hello. How are you doing? She's just like, what do you, how can I help you? What do you need? Just very matter of fact. So uh, I was already a little put off by that because I like people to be friendly and especially if they're in the service industry. So anyways, I was like, okay, whatever. So I go in again, she's very serious and she's asking me questions about the accounts and I'm giving her the information. And then she was asking me if, how old my kids were and I told her and then she asked for my son's phone number and I was like, oh yeah, I, my son doesn't have a phone yet. I don't want him to get sucked into being addicted to the phone. And then she goes, well, it's, it's all about how you teach them. I gave my kids phones when they were, when they were younger than that. And so I'm kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm asking you to help me set up a bank account. I'm not I'm not here to get advice on parenting from you. So I'm starting to feel a little irritated. Can you relate? And then I'm like, okay, this situation can be a really bad, unpleasant situation and just a conversation where I'm not happy, I want to get out of here as quickly as possible and run. This could be a very uncomfortable, bad conversation, or somehow I, I have to turn this ship around because this is not looking good. So I started to think, okay, how can I get into her world? How can I understand who she is, who who her essence is because right now all I'm feeling is just negativity and in my head I was just making her wrong. <clears throat> so and so I just go, okay, well why why did you give your kids a phone at that age? So I just started getting curious about her. And she's like, well, there was this this lockdown at school where I wasn't able to get a hold of my kids and I felt completely helpless and scared and that's why from that point I decided to give them a phone and I was like okay that makes sense you you had a traumatic experience and then she started to tell me the boundaries she set with her kids around the phone and how she and so she she started giving me some really great parenting advice and I was like okay I'm starting to get a sense of who this person is not this like exterior or whatever's going on but really who this person is 
so I asked her about her kids and she was it was just clear and she just lit up she was so happy and so excited to talk about her children and I realized wow she really loves her daughters and she was telling me about all the amazing things that they were doing and and I could really see how amazing of a mom she was. And I told her that. I told her, you're an amazing mom. So anyways, we end up having this incredible conversation. She gives me some amazing parenting advice. And she's, she ends up telling me, you know, you're an amazing mom. You need to cut yourself some slack which was exactly what I needed to hear in the moment. And I, I told her, you know, you, what you've created for your daughters, that's what I want to create for my kids. Thank you for giving me that inspiration. And we had an amazing talk. And you, even like during the conversation, part of me was like, okay, this is taking too long. I need to go. I need to really work on my business or I need to run errands. But then I, I sat there and I was like, I don't have anything on my schedule for the rest of the afternoon. This is exactly where I need to be. This is who God has put in front of me. And this woman has something that I need to hear and I need to be there for this woman. And it was a huge breakthrough for me because it would have been so easy for me. And I've done this in the past where to be like, I don't have time. Let's just get the bank account done. Uh, this woman, she's not a very positive person. Why would I even want to talk to her? Let's just get through this. But instead, we were able to create an amazing time together. And I learned so much about parenting. And she contributed to me in a very valuable way. And I believe that I also contributed to her. And so that's what it's about, guys. It's about, I realize, living in the present, being with people, connecting with people on a deeper level. And if we're too busy for that, or if we believe the story that we're too busy to connect with people, if we believe the story that, okay, this person's just negative, I'm going to write them off then we're missing out on thriving. And so I just wanted to share that story with you. It made a real big difference for me, and I hope it will for you too. And I would just ask you to, just as you go throughout your day, instead of like being too busy or being harsh, what can you do to get curious about someone? Maybe there's someone, maybe it's just someone flicks you off on the freeway and instead of just beeping at them and getting all angry, maybe it's, okay, they must be having a really bad day. Or maybe it's someone, you know, who's packing your groceries and you normally wouldn't ask them how they're doing. And asking them, how's your day going? I believe that connection is really what we desire and who we are. So survival is let's just get through, let's not connect, let's just get stuff done, let's do the checklist. And then and then we feel empty and we're like, why? But thriving is when we can actually go, no, I'm here living in the present. This person's in front of me. How can I get curious? How can I connect with this person? So let me know what you think. And if you value what I'm sharing, if you're getting value out of it, I would love for you to be part of the Survive to Thrive program, which is a three-month group coaching program where we're going to go through your health, your finances, your relationships, your business to very intentionally and deliberately move your life from survival mode to thriving mode. I want to end the conversation of, I'm too busy. I'm too overwhelmed. I'm too stressed. Like, what if 
what if we weren't having those conversations anymore because we felt empowered? We felt alive. What could we create in this world for each other? What could, we, what could you create for this world? What is that dream that comes up occasionally that maybe you just shove down because you're like, I can't do that. I don't have time. I don't have the money. Whatever comes up for you. What could be possible? So I love you guys. If you're interested in learning more about the program, I'm putting the link in the bottom. And just a reminder that if you do all 20 of the, the steps in the 20 day challenge, you will be eligible to win an Amazon gift card and love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. Hey, Laura, so good to see you. I love what you're posting on Facebook. It really inspires me to keep going because sometimes it's not easy. So believe it or not, I don't wake up every day thinking, oh my gosh, I want to do Facebook Lives. There are some times I'm just like, do people care? Is this helping? But I really am passionate about seeing people go from survival mode, scarcity, to abundance and thriving. I love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.